Hi, this is David from Minute Earth. Going big used to be a good strategy for animals. After all, being an absolute unit makes a critter pretty predator-proof. But along came humans who had the big brains and the big appetites needed to hunt big animals and to inadvertently destroy the resources those big animals required to live. Today, most of our planet's megafauna has gone extinct, and what hasn't is in big trouble. But there are two big exceptions, the American black bear and the humpback whale, whose populations are rebounding thanks to two potent strategies. The first is reproductive efficiency. Humpbacks can get pregnant while still nursing a baby, while almost all other mammals cannot. As a result, humpbacks can have way more babies over their lifetimes than other whales can. And American black bears bear babies at younger ages and have larger litters than their Bruin brethren, helping them take over the woodlands. Of course, all that baby making does come at a cost. A baby humpback, for instance, needs hundreds of thousands of calories a day. To meet their enormous energy needs in a habitat changed by humans, humpback whales and American black bears have added diversity to their diet. Humans have caused a collapse in the population of krill, which most whales are dependent on. So humpback whales have started working together in groups to hunt alternative prey that hasn't been decimated by human activity. And American black bears, already known as less picky eaters than their ursine compadres, have added even more items to their diet in the last century or so. Among large mammals, the combination of rapid reproduction and flexible feeding is pretty unique, and we're not exactly sure why specifically this bear and this whale have been able to adopt these strategies, while other megafauna have not. Maybe humpbacks and black bears are naturally more flexible, or maybe they're actually evolving more quickly than other big animals. These two aren't the first to succeed this way. Small animals, which are flexible in their eating preferences and can reproduce super quickly, pioneered these strategies. And they work, especially in the age of humans. While more than half of big mammals have gone extinct, only about 5% of smaller mammals have. And while more than two-thirds of the remaining megafauna are threatened, only a fifth of the little guys are at risk. And adopting small animal strategies seems to be paying off too. While other big whales have rebounded slowly from the days of whaling, humpback numbers have quadrupled in the last 50 years, and scientists estimate they'll exceed pre-whaling numbers in just a few decades. And while most bear species still teeter on the edge of extinction, more American black bears exist today than ever before, and their population growth shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. And to think, both species went big by acting little.